and I suppose that's the reason why he's had 11 and 8. But, um, you know, when you're on and off the bench, we all have our opinion. <laughs> Brett Lovett started in the centre and was then shifted in the second quarter onto Bernie Harris and cut him out of the game. And Bernie was on and off the bench, but uh, did a terrific job, I thought, Brett. Well, yes, he's doing well this year, Stephen. He's one of those fellows that mops up around the back line. Stands after tonight's match, the 10,000th play. Between Melbourne this year and in the last couple of years, they're winning by big margins. Well, it was a very, very good first half of football, certainly as far as the Bears was concerned. Melbourne, a little bit disappointing, actually. And after the game, John Northey was disappointed with their whole performance, but the Bears have got big problems. Their, their forward line is virtually non-existent. Now, they played Roger Merritt last night. He started on the bench. Now, if your captain and best player uh, is selected, surely you should start on the ground. I mean, that is ridiculous. Did you have a chance after the match to get, get a feel of the club? Like, is it... Uh, you say there's big problems you're talking about well, just in personnel? I, I think in playing personnel, I think they got a very raw deal from the, well, VFL then, when they were set up in Brisbane, with, playing, clubs. with the clubs, with the playing personnel. Now, let's face it, they got a lot of players who weren't good enough to get inside down here. They've got a couple of champions, but it's no good getting the ball around midfield with your little blokes, Bain and Rowe and those sort of guys. If you haven't got good big fellows up forward to convert and they can't do that, well, Cattles should they put Warwick in for four matches and just before the internal draft? Well, well, put it this way I'd give him a couple of games and how watch him. He's had a couple. How, how many, many chances does he I'd, want? I'd play him two games in a row and say you've got to perform, or I'd clear him. I don't know whether he's got his heart 100% in it. I know for a fact. He hasn't well, got I his 10,000, obviously. He'd, he'd be like to get back a lot of wallet. I think he'll end up. <laughs> I'm Pete, certain he'll end up back in Sydney. Pete, absolutely Pete, certain. Getting oh, back, well, if Sydney take him there, they will. They wouldn't have a clue. Pete, if getting Sydney back pick to the, him up. Really? Why do getting you back that? to the merit situation. Do you, think it was, do, you, Sorry, do you think it was worth the risk? I mean, last week they, by reports, only only cut his leg off. Gastev had lost four kilos. I mean, was it worth the risk to play those players? No, because Gastev did not touch the ball all night. He hasn't touched the ball for three weeks. Uh, Merritt tried his heart out. Couldn't kick uh, more than about 30 metres. And... Uh, just he wasn't fit so they played unfit players and you just can't get away with that they don't have other players to put in Kappa. what about the oh, votes, they have. <laughs> uh, <laughs> votes <laughs> for votes of the game i gave one vote to stephen stretch because he he cut his man out mark williams completely out of the game and attacked as well scott mckiver is an amazing player he's fant in, a, in the hawthorne side he'd be a dead set champion and uh three votes to a greatly improved player, Stephen Phoebe, he rebounds from that half-back line. He's an exciting young player. So Melbourne doing well there. Scott McCarthy. Darren Bennett up to 